Hello everyone, welcome back to our online class again. How are you today everyone? Okay, I hope you all are fine, okay? And where did you go yesterday? As you know already, yesterday was holiday, right? And where did you go? You went to Kokpik, Kokpik, right? Aeon 2, Aeon 1, or where did you go yesterday? And did you enjoy it? Okay, and right now, have you had breakfast already? Have you had breakfast yet? That's it. So I hope that everything you are ready and right now you can come to study with me. Okay, good. So everyone, uh, what day is it today? Today is when? Wednesday, right? And May 15, 2020. Every Thursday and Friday, we study what kind of course book, everyone? Yes, you are right. Listening starter too, right? And as you see on the whiteboard, today we are going to study a new lesson. Unit 2 and the title of Unit 2, what is it everyone? My family. What page? On page 12. Okay. But before going on this one, on this pages, on this page, on this unit, let me review a little bit about what did we learn in Unit 1. Okay. So everyone, do you still remember what did what is the title of Unit 1? What is it? Okay, my hope, my hope B, right? And how many words did we learn in the first page of unit 1? Yes, we learned how many words? There are 6 words, right? 6 words. 2, 4, 6. Okay? So the first word, what is it? Music. What does it mean music? A pattern, right? A pattern of uh, instrument or music that made from the instru instrument, right? Do you like listening to the music? Okay, so I hope you like. What about this one? Take picture. What does it mean? Take pictures. It means you capture the activity, right? So when somebody is taking picture, what uh, you know usually they do? They do like this, right? Take pitch, take picture. Okay. What about draw? What does it mean draw? Do you like drawing, everyone? Okay. So draw it means what? Draw it means to make a sign, a line on a paper, right? To make pitch, to make pictures. I like drawing. But my drawing is not so good. Okay. What about magazines? What does it mean magazine? Magazine it means a piece of paper that show about the news and also the advertisement. Okay. Then we call what is it? Magazine. Do you like reading magazine, everyone? Okay, so I hope that you like it. And I, I so I also like magazines. Okay. What about one more word? What is it? Dance. What does it mean dance? Dance is a movement or activity followed by the, the song, right? So when you are listening to the song, you can dance along with the song. Got it? Do you like dancing? Okay, if you like dancing, you can go to the stadium and you will see a lot of dancers over there. And then you can dance with them. Okay, good. What about one more word? What is it? Couch. What does it mean couch? You're right. Couch means to hold, right? When you want to cut the ball, it means you hold the, the ball, right? Okay, good. Okay, everyone, so do not waste your time. Right now, let's move to our lesson all together. So, our lesson, uh, once again, is, is about what is it? Unit 2, the title is my family. What does it mean family? Okay, family refer to like father, like mother, aunt and call, child, Children, daughter, son, right? Cousins. So what do we call? Fam, family, right? Okay. So today we are going to talk about like my family. And before going on with uh, section A, let me explain you a little bit about the word that will be appear in the exercise. Okay. So the first word is the word cousin. What does it mean cousin, everyone? Cousin. It means was it a child or a person, an or an uncle. Do you understand this, this definition? So this, the definition of the word cousin is a child. Cousin it means a child of a person, an or uncle. For example, everyone, you can look at uh, this one. For uh, this one is your your father, and this one is your mother. This one is. Your father, sister, okay. And this one is uh, your father, sister, husband. 
So this is her, her child, and this is yous. Okay. So you and her, you know, your father, sister, child is your cousin, your cousin, right? Got it. So cousin, it means what? It means a child or a person and or an call. Okay. And one more, everyone. And what does it mean? And, and, and it means the sister of someone, father or mother. For example, who is she? Girl. This one, girl. Okay. Who is she? She is your, your aunt, right? Because she is your father, sister. So that's why she is your, your aunt. Got it? One more. Uncle. What does it mean? Uncle. And call it mean the brother or someone, father or mother. Once again, and call it mean the brother or someone, father or mother. For example, everyone. I give you one more example. Here. This one is your father. And this one is uh, your father, brother. Or this one is your mother. Or this one is your mother, brother. So, your mother help you as a child. Okay, help you as a child. And then, who is he? He is your aunt and call, right? Why? Because he is a brother of your mother. Or your mother. Got it? So, that's why you are, if you are a girl, you are miss. And he's your boy, nephew, right? And who is he? He is your aunt, uncle, right? Got it? Yeah, that's it. So, uncle means the, the brother or someone, father or ma, or mother. Okay? Good. And cousin, once again, cousin, what does it mean, cousin? Like, I give you an example. This one is your, your uncle. And when your uncle have baby, so this baby is what? Who is he or she? Cousin, right? You are right. Good. So how clever you are? That's so good, everyone. Okay, let's move to another word. The word tall. What does it mean tall? Tall I mean of more than a red head. What does it mean? It means tall or high, right? If you are tall, it means your head is not like one centimeter, maybe. More than one, right? Taller than me, okay? Taller than me. I am not tall enough, okay? So tall I mean uh, of more than a red hex. Uh, like in this way, okay? So tall, got it? Tall opposite with the word short, right? Short. I am, I am not short, but also, you know, I also not tall enough. I am not tall enough. But I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. One more. Move to another word. Handsome. Am I handsome? Sure. I think I'm handsome. <laughs> okay. Just kidding everyone. So what does it mean handsome? So handsome it means physical attractive in a traditional or male ways. If you are handsome, it means you are attractive to everybody around you. Got it? Like, you know, I am so handsome, for example, so maybe there are a lot of girls come to me, to that, okay? Come to ask me about this, about that, because I am so handsome. Just kidding, okay? Just kidding. One more, number six, sin. What does it mean, sin? Sin, it means what? Wheat, little flesh on the bones. You know, some people, if they, when they are sin, they just have like, when, when, we are near them, we can see their bone. We do not see like their, their skin. Or we can say slim. Okay? But slim is an appropriate word. If we say like the word you are sin, it seems to be a root word. Got it? So you can say you are slim, you are, um, you can say, um, yes, I think you should use the word slim. It's more appropriate or polite. Okay, but do not use the word sin. If you say you are sin, it means uh, 
you are rude it imply word got it so that's it sin it mean with little flesh on the bone it mean have like just look at me and look at this picture you will see so is it sin yes says right not fat right and proceed with the word sin is eh? fat right you know fat or we can say overweight right okay so read up to me all together everyone cousin good and and call tall handsome sin once again cousin and and call tall handsome sin that's it can you read it by yourself let it by yourself okay what about this one and this one yes you are right good okay so cousin let me read the definition for you again again and again to make sure that you understand the meaning of all of these words okay so cousin is a child or a person and or an call and it means the sister or someone father or mother and what else and call it means the brother of someone father or mother tall it means of more than a red head it means their height handsome physical you know physically attract in a traditional or male way sin it means what with little flesh on the on the bones got it okay so do not um, go so far now let's move uh, to our lesson altogether section a so section a they want you to find the words and number them in the picture find the word and number them in the picture everyone okay so number one cousins where cousin like you see in this one my cousin family so where cousin here right number number one so you can put the one who is in the middle right good what about number two and ways and hmm? yes you're right here right and a a u and t and girl or boy good right good what about number three and call where's where's and call here right that's a good and call so you can write number number three and this one number two got it what about number four tall what does it mean tall as you see already more than a red hex so where here right good tall so you can write number number four right okay so one more number five handsome so you can look at all of this you know character who is the most handsome he right yes yeah, so number five good so you can write number five so the most handsome here have like tall and hand handsome one more sin you see who is the sin next this one right this girl right good where are they where the green one so what is it number number six got it yes that's it for exercise a and now let's move to uh, exercise b match the expression listen and check your answers this one everyone in order to get the answer you need to listen okay and during the listenings you need to listen carefully to the track on track this one on track um let me write it for you on track 11 okay track 11 so in order to get the answer you need to listen to the track carefully okay and you have a minute to listen to the track and are you ready everyone okay if you are ready now let's start listening to the track Unit 2. My Family B. Match the expressions. Listen and check your answers. 1. This is my grandfather. He looks kind. 2. What does your brother look like? My brother is very handsome. 3. That is my mother. She looks happy. 
Okay, welcome back everyone. So right now, let's check the answer with me all together. I will read for you. So this is my grandfather. So this is my grandfather. Go to letter. What did you hear everyone? Go to letter. Letter B, right? He's look kind. You're right. He look kind. What does it mean kind? Kind here it means what? Generous, right? Generous. So go to letter. Letter B. So number one, go to letter B. Good. What about number two? What does your brother look like? What does your brother look like, everyone? Okay, so go to letter. Go to letter C, right? Good. Go to letter C. What the answer letter C? My brother is very handsome, right? And the last one, that's my mother. So that my mother go to letter good letter A. Okay? Have you got the right answer? Yes, so I hope that you got the right answer, okay? Okay, so now let's move to listening practice all together. So listening practice one. A, listen and circle, track 12. So you need to listen again. As you see the title of the course book, listening. So it means every exercises, you need to listen in order to get the, an the answer. So do not wonder or do not... Uh, you, you just say, I don't understand why this course book need, you require me to listen all the time. So do not wonder at all. Okay. So listen and circle track 12. Okay. So now are you ready to listen? In this, in this section, you, when you hear when you hear the word tall, you need to circle on the word tall. When you hear the word sin, you need to circle on the word sin. Okay. So now it's time. So are you ready? Okay. Now let's start listening to the track. A. Listen and circle the word you hear. 1. Your aunt is thin. 2. She looks like her mother. 3. My cousin is handsome. Okay, welcome back everyone. So now let's check the answer with me all together. What did you hear from the track everyone? Number 1. Your aunt is tall or thin. What did you hear from the track? Your aunt is tall or thin? Okay, good. Sin, right? So we shall call on the word sin, right? Good. What about number two? She look like her mother or her brother? Hmm? She look like her mother or her brother? That's it. So her, her mother, right? So we can shall call on the word ma, mother. Good. What about number three, everyone? Number three. My cousin or my uncle is handsome. So what did you hear? My cousin or my uncle? That's so good. My cousin. My cousin. Okay, it's good. So my cousin is hand, handsome. That's it, everyone. So now let's move to section B or exercise B. Listen. Write the letter that match to the picture. When you hear, find the, the, the picture number two first. So you can put letter A. And then you hear picture number 3. You can put letter B. And then letter C and then letter D. Got it? Put it in order. Okay? Based on the picture in the book. So are you ready everyone? Here the picture, okay? So you can look at this picture and then put the letter in order. Are you ready? Okay, so if you are ready now, you have a minute to listen and during listening, please listen to the track carefully. So now let's start listening to the track. B. Listen. Write the letter that matches the picture. A. My sister is thin. B. My uncle looks handsome today. C. Angela looks pretty in that dress. D. David's grandfather looks tired. Okay, welcome back everyone. So now let's check the answer with me all together. Okay, so number one, letter. Number one, letter D, right? Good. What about number two? Letter Letter A, right? 
What about number three? That's so good. Number three letter B. And number four is letter. What is it? Letter C. You are right. A, B, and C and D. The number one, the last one, right? Hey. So have you got the right answer, everyone? If you have any mistake, you can make change. Got it? Yes. Okay. Now, let's move to another one. Section C. Listen and fill the blank. Listen again. Track for 14. But everyone, in this section, you, you, we have uh, like word box. Got it? So in work box here, in work box here, you need to ch to choose one answer in order to fill it. Okay. Num uh, for example, this one, uh, we have the word pretty, tall, cousin, and it's like or look like. So which one is the correct answer? So you can listen to the track, and if you hear like this word, you can put it to fill the the blank. So. That's why, uh, in order to do the exercise correctly, you need to read this one first before listening to the track. After reading this one, you can listen to the track, okay? So now, I hope that you complete reading the tracks. Uh, sorry, reading this one, and then it's time to listen to the track, okay? And are you ready? Good. So now, let's listen to, let listen to the track all together. Let's start. C. Listen and fill in the blanks. What does your cousin look like? She looks like me. She has brown hair and blue eyes? No, she looks pretty. Okay, welcome back everyone. So now let's check the answer with me all together. Number one, what is it? What did you hear from the tracks? Number one, what does your, what does your, you are right. What does your cousin look, your cousin look like, right? What does your cousin look like? Good. What about number two? See, see what is it? Me, see, look like. Me, you are right. She look like. She look like me. Okay. What about number three? What is it? Number three. So, but before we go to number three, we need to read this one. A. She has brown hair and blue eyes. B. No. She looks. She look what is it? She look pretty, right? She look pretty. Pretty here, small letter. Okay. She look pretty. Okay, so this one, the answer. One more, what is it? This one and also this. This one, right? Look here with, with S. Okay. Okay, everyone. So, have you got the right answer, everyone, with six and six? Yes, that's it. So, I hope that you, you can do it and you also have the correct answer as well. Okay. So, that's it for today and I hope that you can learn with all of this word and understand it and can read it as well. So thank you very much for today and see you to the next video. Goodbye.